here it is folks the switch section this is exactly what i came for starlink pretty sure rabbits is actually fairly new Ooh, mario 3d world i would love to own this game again so the reason i'm here is as a lot of you guys know i recently sold off my entire switch collection in order to build my dream game room by the way goosebumps is nine dollars apparently also look at this they have one two three four five copies of atari classics dang oh looks like mario Mario Golf and Strikers. Dang, I've never had this game and I would love to own that. Marvel Alliance for 37. Oh. So my goal today is to start to rebuild my Switch collection. The only problem is I don't have any money. Neil, I did have a question for you. What's uh, up, man? Do you guys take IOUs? I mean, for you, even though you've got a lot of things here that, I'm not gonna lie, are quite questionable in nature, <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Neil, I don't wanna get you in trouble. I don't know if you guys can actually do that. I do appreciate it, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go make a little bit of money and I'll be back later, okay? That's really <laughs> fine, man. We'll see you soon. But Caleb, you ask, how are you going to achieve such an ambitious goal of building a 250 game collection? By the way, did I say it was 250 it's 250 of building such a large collection with no money out of pocket well we're going to do it at stores like this half price book So folks, what I'm looking for specifically in this half price books is underpriced video games because the way I'm gonna go about building my budget for this challenge is by finding underpriced stuff to flip on eBay or Amazon and then using that expected profit as my Switch game budget. For example, folks, this is absolutely perfect. Check this out. Well, it looks like this one doesn't actually have a sticker, but this other black GameCube controller back here is priced at 20 bucks, which this one is missing the thumbstick, so that may actually not be accurate, but if this one is priced at 20 bucks as well. You can see here on my Amazon seller app, I can get $28 after fees for that by selling it on Amazon. Excuse me, I had a quick question. Uh, this one didn't have a sticker, but this one did. Would this also be Same 20? Price. Okay. Yeah. So folks, we did get confirmation. These two bad boys are gonna be 20 bucks a piece, meaning $8 profit on each of these. I'm gonna leave this controller because the stick looks bad, but that means we now have $16 to spend on Switch games. I'm gonna scan some of these other games that I think might be underpriced and we can see if we're able to drum up any more profit. So I scanned through the whole Xbox section and I did come out with a couple interesting things. The first one was this sealed Nike Connect training, which according to Amazon, I would be able to make around seven bucks on after fees, but unfortunately you can see this corner is pretty busted up, so I'm just gonna leave it. But the second one is this Gears of War Judgment, which is indeed sealed as well, so I can get a higher dollar amount for it on Amazon than they could in store. I'm paying just over five bucks for it and I should be able to get $13 in profit after fees on Amazon. And folks, look at this absolute money I just found in my wallet. 10% off our whole order today. Let's go. That's gonna give us even higher profit on this stop than I thought, so I'll have to do the full calculations once we're out of here. But right now, I've gotta turn my attention to this glass case, which folks, I just noticed has some Switch games on clearance. This could be huge for us. But folks, just as I was about to start checking out these games out of the corner of my eye, what did I spy? but another sealed game. Cooking Mama Cook-Off at eight bucks. I'm almost sure this one's going to be profitable, but let's go ahead and scan it together. New condition, let's go, 24 bucks. That is another tidy $16 profit. This is amazing. And folks, get a load of this. This is where being a video game reseller really pays off. These two little guys right here are Guitar Hero dongles to play on the PS4. They're 15 bucks a piece and check this out. 30 a piece after fees, leaving us 15 bucks profit and that's before even factoring our 10% off so folks at this point we're working with at least $60 in expected profit as our switch game budget which makes me really heavily consider this Immortals Phoenix Rising for 15 which especially with our 10% off is honestly a really good deal the prices on the rest of these games I could kind of take or leave this just dance is a good price but I don't really want to get any games that don't have their original cases like most of these games up here for example 20 bucks 20 bucks I think you can get those for a like 20-ish brand new. So I'd kind of rather just save that budget for a bigger game at the end of the video when we go back to the game store. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am panicking right now, people. Look at this. I saw their white clearance sticker.
breaker of $112 right there, and look at this. It just sold for $202 on eBay and goes for $205 after fees on Amazon. I am literally shaking right now. That is an over $80 profit in one flip right there. This is amazing. Also, for some reason, they have a pretty insane JRPG selection right now. That's kind of weird. None of them are really a good deal, though. Not seeing any other white stickers on any of their other clearance sets right now. So I think we're pretty much good to go ahead and check out. So folks, I just did a bunch of boring math and the total after fees value of all the stuff that I picked up today is $363. And when you subtract out the 201 that we paid for everything, including our Switch game, we're left with a whopping $162 Switch game budget. And by the way, folks, is it just a coincidence that the first game of this entire challenge has Phoenix in the title. There is no such thing as a coincidence. This random clearance CD set came in absolutely clutch. I have a feeling this is gonna turn out to be a very successful day. Folks, our next stop of the day is going to be GameStop. Not only because they could potentially have some really solid clearance games for the collection, but also because I've often found stuff there to flip which could help us build our budget. So folks, I did just confirm with the employee that actually right now, all of the games that are on clearance are half off in addition to the clearance. So like, look at this, $3.97, this would actually be half off. So it looks like I would be able to get three something for it, but at a dollar or so profit, that's just not quite worth it for me. <laughs> this PS5 game is very generously clearanced from $39.99 to $39.97. So this one's kind of interesting. This is not on clearance, but at 56 Gravity Rush Remastered, I can actually get 65 for it after fees on Amazon. And I think I might have a little bit of pro member credit to use on this, so that might actually be worth it. So here's the situation. Clearance games did all ring up as half off, and weirdly enough, they had a bunch of Switch games on clearance. Ended up coming away with Space Space Startopia, Undernaught's Labyrinth of Yomi, the Time Management Game Collection, which by the way, folks, $5 on clearance? I literally paid $2.50 for this thing. Okay, this is getting kind of old. Toucan Rambu Warriors for 30, and finally, Mary Skelter Finale. I also picked up these two just because they were a good deal, and I wonder what that door <laughs> a random guy just saw me filming in my trunk like a weirdo. <laughs> anyway, I was able to use my $5 monthly coupon and 50 bucks worth of pro member points. So I ended up getting this $220 worth of games at GameStop for only 117. And because the only one of these that I'm gonna keep for the collection is the time management game collection because I think it's super weird and I can't believe we got it for 250. We can use all the profit from the rest of these to go towards our end of the day switch budget, which puts us at a massive 265 five bucks to spend. I think we need to get to another GameStop. Well, folks, as you can see, we're here at GameStop and I can't quite put my finger on it, but something just doesn't seem right. Huh. Guess they must be on lunch break. All right, folks, GameStop number two. I realize some of you guys may be wondering at this point, Caleb, you're getting all these good deals on Switch games. Why don't you just keep those for the collection? But what you have to realize is if I don't have Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild in my collection yet, I have no business keeping freaking Mary Skelter. By the way, Miss Skelter, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I'm as I'm looking here, I'm not really seeing any more of the clearance stickers at this one. I don't know if this location is maybe just a little bit more cleared out. Apparently all the clearance games are actually up front, so let's go check that out. Well, I guess this makes it pretty easy for us, doesn't it? FIFA, not really interested. Oh, another one of these, we'll go ahead and do that. This one I'll have to look up. Huh, YouTuber's Life 2, wonder what that's like. Well, unfortunately, clearance section seemed a little bit picked through as far as profit goes, but we do still have 265 bucks to spend on Switch stuff, so I'm gonna start looking just at their regular non-clearance stuff for the games that I want most. Ooh, for example, Pokemon Arceus. Not the best deal at 54, but I have to say that's one of my probably top five Switch games ever. Even though the graphics weren't the best, the open world element of this game was just such a blast. 
And Pokemon Brilliant Diamond honestly seems like a decent deal. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a used Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild, which are probably my top two, but I think I am gonna go ahead and pick these two up. I haven't played Brilliant Diamond yet, and at 35, it's a pretty good deal, so I feel good about these. Looks like they do have them both in new condition, but honestly, I just, I just don't really see a reason to spend that much at this point, because I would just play them immediately anyway. So folks, after the cost of the two Pokemon and the profit that we'll make on Toucan, leaves us with a $197 Switch budget and a healthy young collection of four Switch games, heading into our final stop of the day, Game Exchange. Ooh, that feeling walking up to a Switch section with $197 in your pocket. Okay, looks like Pokemon Sword is a little bit cheaper here than at GameStop, so I feel good about that. You could theoretically make it a triple Pokemon day. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that, they do have it. Oh man. And 40 bucks too, not a bad deal. <laughs> Seriously, I never thought I would be so thrilled about finding a super common Switch game, but this is amazing. Seriously, this might be my second favorite game of all time. Top three at least, might be tied with Smash Bros. Oh, speaking of Smash Bros, do you think? <gasps> yes, yes. 50 bucks, not the most amazing price, but folks, it's it's an absolute essential. This one 100% is coming back with me. Now you guys may be wondering, Caleb, what the heck is up with you and Switch games? Like, why are you freaking out about these things? And the deal is, the Switch is the console that got me back into gaming after college. I went on like an eight or 10 year hiatus where I didn't really play video games that much outside of Smash Bros. But Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild totally got me back into it as Erica was in law school and was studying a bunch. I was starting to resell and was working really hard and the switch was just like my outlet one big thing I'm always going to be looking for is like the limited run stuff that like you just don't see that much especially at video game stores and you can see that like where the publisher is on the bottom of the spine so I'm trying to keep my eye out for those <laughs> another Atari flashback classics although this one is actually cheaper than the other location okay yeah that that looks awful we're not doing that today okay I just got all the way through the bees I don't see any breath of the wild oh unless maybe it's in the Z's no I don't see it in Z either. And the reason I'm stoked out of my mind to be doing this series and to be doing it for no money out of pocket, just die already. Old People Mayhem Sandbox Game? Okay, this one. <laughs> this one's gonna have to come home with me. The reason I want to do it spending no money is on this channel, we believe opportunity is everywhere. So even though clearly game collecting can get very expensive. I want to prove that if you're willing to hustle a little bit, it can be doable with any budget. So after getting these three, we'll have about 80 bucks left in the budget, and I'm honestly kind of leaning towards Pokemon Sword. And you know what, guys? I'm so jazzed about this. I'm actually going to pick up an extra Pokemon Sword outside the challenge budget. Oopsies. I'm gonna send this to one of you guys this week to help with one of your Switch collections. All you have to do to qualify is let me know in the comments what game I need to look for next and tickle that notification button when you subscribe just so you know next time a Mission Switch video is uploaded. But now folks, it's time for the best part of the whole video. Thanks, doggy. What is this place? You love Switch games, don't you? I would love to switch owners. Folks, we've still got a long way to go before we hit 250, but the Switch shelf is no longer empty and I could not be more thrilled. If you want to see another Switch video, check out this one right down here and I'll catch you guys on the flip.